Now, if you were looking for something to spice up your day, well, we have one of our local chefs showing you how to whip up something good in the kitchen. And KMR Local Forest Jason Bridge is live in our studio kitchen this morning with Chef Ron mm -hmm. from Sunday's Kitchen. Here we are, round <laughs> two. Last week went so well, we decided to have him back again. Sure did. Right. And we, last, last week we had Yakamane. Yes, sir. I don't know how you started out with that one. It was un unbelievable. And yes, so sir. we're starting out with another another southern staple here, yes, sir. shrimp and grits. So talk a little bit about what's going on here, what, what we got going on. All right. What we, you are, all right. Well, we got our Sunday's Kitchen shrimp and grits. I'm going to let Ron tell you all a little bit about them, but they're delicious for sure. All right. Well, we got our grits here. We have our shrimp here. And we have our rosé sauce for the sauce on top. That sauce right and there. The sauce. Can't we got go our bacon. Yes, we got sir. our sauces. We're going, man, can't even go wrong. Right? <laughs> yeah, they got me excited. That's all yeah. I got to say. And so, so with the sauce, so what's all included in that sauce right there? What's all this included? This is what you would on? typically consider a marinara and an Alfredo sauce. We okay. do our spicy tomato sauce and our Creole cream sauce. We bring them to a blend, and we serve this over our old-fashioned, home-style southern grits. I've heard that no self-respecting southern, uh, southerner does um, instant grits. So we do ours with the old-fashioned, okay. lots of butter to really lock them and hold them together. We like thick, thick grits with our shrimp and grits. Yeah, and, and so yeah, I was just about to say that this is one thing that everyone has a different recipe yes, for, sir. for yes, southern sir. grits. It's very particular to a lot of different people. So yes, kind of what, what makes sure it's kind of stand out, maybe just a little bit from everybody else. Is, well, what's the secret here without giving away the secret? The secret? Quality <laughs> ingredients. I would just say quality ingredients. We spare no expense. Um, every sauce is made individual with, with premium ingredients in the um, tomato sauce. There's red wine, there's bell pepper, celery, onion, butter, a, a plethora of ingredients that we're not going to share. Yeah. And it's the same thing with our Alfredo sauce. And when you put the two together, the way they marry with the premium um, andouille sausage, the applewood smoked bacon, more butter, home style grits, it's kind of its own, its own entity, you know. We don't we don't do anything to really separate it. It separates itself, I should say. And yeah, you got you got your four different things cooking right now. Yes, sir. Uh, is this a pretty simple dish, or do you do you think this is one of the more tougher dishes you think to kind of make at home? I think, I think it's simple, a simple yeah. dish. Yeah, yeah I really think it's a simple dish. Simple. Yeah. You can make it at home. Um, it depends on the level of love. Everything yeah. you do should be your own. You know, take your own time and develop your recipe over time. If you make this a few Sundays in a row, Saturdays in a row, mm -hmm. you'll get it to where you're like, I love this. I'm proud of myself. I blah, blah, yeah. blah. If not, you could always go to Sunday's Kitchen at 112 <laughs> yeah. Southwest 6. Hey! And Chef Ron will take care of you. You don't even have to worry about it, you know? Uh, and then the sausage I see, just kind of cooking it normally? Yeah. Nothing, too, yeah. yes, nothing sir. too crazy right there? And usually we do ours with garlic toast, but today we are going to do them with some biscuits. They are oh. in the oven. Yeah. You know, that's kind of a studio thing. We have the restaurant that's <laughs> grilled garlic toast. But here in studio, we're going to do it with some good buttery biscuits. We got the butter up here just waiting to slather all over oh, them biscuits. I got it on my mind this morning. And so. the first thing I smelled when I first got in here was the bacon. The bacon, yes, sir. And everything goes better with bacon. With bacon. Yeah, so and that's another thing. Even if this, all this other stuff isn't good, yeah. once we put that bacon on top, <laughs> it's its own thing. Right. This is it's just round thing. one. We're going to be back here in a little bit with Sharday. She's going to get to try it this time. I got to try it last week. You're going to try it too. Yeah, yeah. oh, I'm going to try it. Don't worry. I'll be back in here a little bit. But Sharday, we'll go ahead and head it back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Jason. And you got Chris going crazy in the studio. I think he just did some praise dancing just a while ago. And if you are interested in checking out this recipe for yourself, of course, we'll always post um, every time we have a chef in studio, we'll post the recipe and the steps over on our website, myhighplains.com. Don't worry, we have you covered.